Curls. The natural hair movement is growing. There's actually a new law aimed at protecting people with their natural hair. It's one of our most talked about stories on our Facebook page, so let's dig deeper in our digital dive. California, the first state to ban discrimination against black students and employees over their natural hairstyles, is known as the Crown Act. That's short for creating a respectful and open world for natural hair. Leah Uko is a journalist who is on the front lines of covering the Crown Act. She hopes this is the beginning of a world where people are valued for what they bring to the table and not held back because of their hair. This is America and we believe in people being able to be happy as they're pursuing the life they want. And that is a huge reason that makes uh, black women and black men perform better, be more confident. The time you waste trying to be someone else, you now can pour that time into other tasks. This week, a similar bill was introduced in Montgomery County, adjacent to Washington, D.C. Other states, including New York and New Jersey, have proposed legislation to explicitly ban race-based hair discrimination. So many of you had a lot to say about this, so let's start with some of the comments. Erica saying she shared this first picture, first of all, very cute picture, and she said, once we were told we had to contain my daughter's hair, we switched schools immediately now she flaunts whatever hairstyle she wants. Another comment coming in from Ashley. She says, honestly, white girls with big tight curls don't get any type of discrimination. It's so shameful that in 2019, we are still having this conversation. So numerous states are passing this law. It looks like it's getting a lot of momentum. I'll probably keep getting passed uh, through many states. Yeah, I really appreciate Ashley's comment there. Mm -hmm. so, yeah.